What is happening there, Reject Nation? Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. That's all I want to say. Thanks to the boys at Prepper for helping us throughout 2021 and with the highlights this year as well. Guys, let's just go into it. You know where to find us for the full length watch alongs over at Patreon. Also, if you go hit the like button, that would be great. And you know, might as well subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when our reaction to the next episode is up. Hey, I still mention everything. Let's do this. Oh no, Mabel. I, I don't feel so good. I... Oh no. Uncle Stan, what did you feed us? <laughs> uh, taking me back. Guys, guys, stop. Something terrible just happened. <laughs> Comedy gold! <laughs> Whose birthday is it again? Nobody's. Thought this party might be a good way to get kids to spend money at the shack. Nice. Um, burro. Hey, hey! How's about you make yourself useful and copy these flyers? Free? <laughs> You know the old copier in my office? I finally fixed the old girl up. Good as new. <gasps> Butterflies. Oh no. <laughs> Success. Look. Whoa. They copy him? It copied his arm. It's a 3D printer. Oh my gosh, Mabel, I think this copier can copy human beings. That's cool. Uh -huh. Do you realize what this means? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a cool concept. Yeah. Has that, has, has that been done before? I don't know if it's been done with like just a copy machine. That's cool. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's the appropriate whimsical Twilight Zone <laughs> kind of setup. Reminds me a little bit of the SpongeBob where he gets the magic pencil, but he draws the character and then the character comes to life. So yeah. It's kind of different. <laughs> Zeus, because you'll work for free and you begged, I'm letting you be DJ. I got this book that teaches me how to DJ r r right <laughs> You gotta commit to staying at the ticket stand with Wendy. No getting out of it, just the two of you alone. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Bow ties are cool. Uh, uh, I can work the counter with you, Wendy. Let's kiss. Hey. I've devised a plan to make sure my night with Wendy goes perfect. <laughs> oh, you're not making one of those overcomplicated listy things, are you? All right, fold that there. Okay. Step one. That's like my to-do list. Yeah, see, this isn't Banner. This is what I want to avoid with Wendy. The final step is to ask her to dance. Wear clean pants. I'm so happy you decided to work the ticket stand with me. You're so organized. Keeps his hat on. <laughs> Why can't you just walk up and talk to her like a normal person? Step nine, sister. <laughs> Perfect. The energy, it's electric. Uh, lightning. Lightning, lightning, lightning. Yeah. And if anyone wants to leave, I'm charging an exit fee of 15 bucks. We've only got 13. We're trapped! <laughs> Step one, casual banter. So here's a casual question. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite type of snack food? <laughs> oh, man, I can't just pick one. No way! Mine, too! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Fly outfit, Mabel. You've got an animal on your body. I'm Mabel. Hi, I'm Granda. This is Candy. Why do you have forks taped to your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> I found my people. <laughs> Party crown. Most applause at the end of the night wins. I'll take that, and thank you very much. The most popular girl in town, Pacifica Northwest. Who's gonna compete against me? Fork girl? Lizard lady? <laughs> Get in there. Hey, Candy. Our kind isn't welcome here. Nah, you gotta fix this, Mabel. I'll compete. <gasps> I'm Mabel. That sounds like a fat old lady's name. I'll take that as a compliment. 
compliment. Whoa, sounds like the party's getting nuts. Mabel comes out strong. Watch out for Sipica. <laughs> I gotta get in there. Cover for me? Well, I... Thanks, man. Aw, dip. <gasps> you can clone yourself. <laughs> yeah, I forgot all about that. <laughs> what are you doing, kid? These suckers aren't gonna rip themselves off. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's good attention to the sign. If only I could be two places at once. You can. You left your booth. I wonder if this is a good idea. <laughs> yes, it is. Whoa! I have a really big head. <laughs> Sorry, you, you first. first. Stop, Stop copying me! <laughs> <laughs> ah. I will call you number two. Definitely not. You know what name I've always wanted? Tyrone? <laughs> you are a Tyrone. <laughs> While I ask Wendy to dance. I know the plan, buddy. Just Tyrone is just a shade whiter. We're not gonna get jealous and turn on each other like the clones in the movies, are we? You can always just disintegrate me with water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to copy myself. <laughs> I got somebody to cover the concessions for me. That's awesome. You can hang out with me and Robbie. Robbie, you remember Dipper from the convenience store? Yo, Wendy, check out my new guitar. <laughs> It's not even plugged in. Yeah, it sounds amazing. <laughs> Fraud! But kiss me anyway because you can play guitar. I forgot something. Oh. <laughs> Let's get married tonight! And Suze can play saxophone on a trumpet. Oh no! They're sitting on the couch! We gotta think of something quick! I got an idea. I got the same one. But we're gonna need some help. <laughs> That's where you come in, number three. But what if Robbie catches me? I'll be all alone. Yeah, okay, one more, one more clone. <laughs> oh, oh golly. Uh-oh, paper jam. Every ninth dipper has special abilities, like House of Cosby's. <laughs> no, or, or that. <laughs> Come on, you're not gonna make me. Yes. <laughs> hey, buddy, hey, it's okay. Oh, golly. That is unsettling. <laughs> yes, it is. It's forever. <laughs> Plastic cup. Oh, Grenda, by the way, you sound like a professional wrestler. <laughs> I want to put her in a headlock and make her feel pain. It's not over till it's over, sister. I wonder if that's a guest star role. Yeah, maybe. Give me the 80sest, crap pleasingest, rock valiest song you got. <laughs> Don't start unbelieving. <laughs> that was for you guys. Yeah, Mabel. Would the owner of a silver and red dirt bike please report outside? It is being stolen right now. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. Oh, nice. Song. Ask her. Now's your chance to ask Wendy to dance. Come on, go. I, uh, Get rejected. The dance floor is a minefield. A minefield, Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> a minefield, Tyrone. What could go wrong? You all clear on what to do? Hey, Seuss, look! A glowing dot! Oh, man, I'm so glad I turned my head. That dot does not disappoint. <laughs> right, like I'm gonna fall for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man, what's up? Ooh, what are you doing here? I'm just waiting for the bathroom. So, hey, let's say everyone at this party gets stuck on a desert island. Who do you think the leader would be? Hmm. I think I'd go with this lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch over there. Because tall people can reach coconuts? <laughs> Those are my three brothers, and I'm boop. Huh? 
You know, kids used to make fun of my birthmark before I started hiding it all the time. Birthmark? Uh, no, it's nothing. Aww. Now you have to show me. Show me, show me. <laughs> the Big Dipper. <laughs> That's how you got your nickname. Oh. I guess we're both freaks. Aww. Wait here? Of course. What are you doing up here? Number 10 has been distracting Seuss for 15 minutes. He's going to get tired of that dot eventually. Number! <laughs> I bumped into Wendy accidentally, and things are actually going great. But not the plan. Do we have to remind you? Not to do Oh. If you're not going to stick to the plan, maybe you shouldn't be the dipper to dance with Wendy. If you think about it, five. Number five on the point. Uh, <sighs> We're going to turn on each other. I think we all knew we were lying. No, no, Oh, no. No. I can't breathe in here. Yeah, you can. Plus, there's snacks and a coloring book in there for you. <laughs> that plastic stick. Watch it. Don't shove people. <laughs> <laughs> I think it freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you were trapped in a closet? Break, Break out? Haha. <laughs> if we start fighting, it'll just go on for infinity. It's oh, true. Yeah, when you think about it, just give up. Ah! Clone fight! <laughs> oh. Get him! Stay back. Stay back. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, paper so jam creepy. paper. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Wendy? Yep. I don't know. You want to go grab a couple sodas or something? Can he drink soda? A plug to vote for Mabel. Yeah, go Mabel! <laughs> <laughs> and your next contestant, Pacifica. Yeah! <laughs> Mabel. Oh, no. A tie. This is like never happened before. <laughs> we have a winner. It's Pacifica Northwest. Maybe we don't have as many friends as Pacifica, but we have each other. And that is pretty good, I think. That's true. Some night, huh? Can't have soda, man. Yeah, he's gonna dis disintegrate. Uh, oh yeah. Remember what we talked about? Uh, of course. Hey, and quit being such a wimp around Wendy, okay? For my sake. Tyrone. Aww. Where have you been? Meet my girlfriend. Huh? Yeah, he found the lightning. <laughs> damn. Damn, damn. Well done. Well, well done, played. show. Well done, show. <coughs> that was a great one. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that one a lot. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed that one a lot. Uncomfortably nerve wracking at the right times. Hilarious. Utilized its, uh, you know, Twilight Zone concept very well. I like planted the seed early, implemented it early enough on in the show. Watch, I, I thought this was really well executed from uh, beginning to end, and also got to have some reflective moments between the two dippers. Hmm. This is good. This is good. I liked how he like used it for like a social anxiety um, moment in his life of that that thing a lot of us can relate to of asking that girl to dance with you. I sucked at that. Mm -hmm. Me too. sucked at that. <laughs> yeah, I love, yeah, that it's that. Girls and asked you to dance. Not in high school, bro. They were going to you and be like, you, sexy man. They just That's grab you. Right. Grab me on the, on the and, buns. And then just, yeah, they grab just you. Grab me, lift me by my ass. <laughs> and then they would just like yeah. forklift me on the dance floor. <laughs> I didn't even want to dance. They were like, we are dancing. Yeah. Yeah. And they just hold on to my ass the whole night. <laughs> um, yeah, this was really well executed in every way. Yeah. And uh, I liked how it was just so immediate in this one night. 
Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that it's it's that. It's not that he's co-owning himself so that he can, like, enslave himself to get stuff done or something. <laughs> it's just he needs advice from somebody who understands his deepest anxieties. And, uh, yeah. The show shows that it knows its character, Dipper, so well to the point that it's really believable how this all escalated and the way it went. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And I really like the way they used that motif because that was a genuine thing and I was like, I forgot about the copier until it came back around and I was like, oh yeah, like the idea light bulb hit me around the time it hit him. And uh, I like that when, when you have a setup and you know what's coming, but then you can, you know, yeah, be swept away into just the other circumstances so that when the actual, you know, hook comes back, yeah, it, it's got a little bit of punch and surprise. And uh, I thought the whole thing with, you know, Mabel and this party made a nice, like, backdrop because for the most part like this is pretty focused on what Dipper's doing and then you yeah. check in with these bits that are the party and I thought that worked nicely as a device like with the percolating tension too, the percolating you know, tension knowing something's coming yeah it's a real bad. tone poem of silliness and uh, party vibes you know <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> but rooting for him and Wendy I hope they get together it's before happen. the show gets cancelled at the end of season 2 yeah that I just learned about you know, we're on a journey to just feel incomplete. This is our new Snyder Cut. That's what's up, man. <laughs> <laughs> we can make up our own ending by the end of it. <laughs> Release Gravity Falls Season 3. Uh, restore the Restore Falls the verse. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and then, yeah, this uh, this thing with, like, Mabel um, finding a, a, a crowd to hang with. Mm -hmm. Some girls that she can be actual friends with. I hope they all come back. And I was like, oh, yeah, there's more to this town. Yeah. And seeing, like, the other people here and getting a sense of that, like, junior high vibe yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And it seems like pacifica could easily be like a bully character who could come back and uh, other things and uh yeah I, I really enjoyed this scene where he actually winds up talking to wendy like I, I think they make it a good sort of question mark out of it because when you're that age like three years difference feels like a ton mm. <laughs> so like they they draw this fun line between Nah, it can't happen. She's so older yeah. than him, but she's not that much older than him, so who knows, you know? Yeah, I like the tension and the clock to it all. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And just the bits, you know, like like Seuss, I thought was really funny throughout this. Even the little things with the Grunkle Stan. Like that one, mm -hmm. just the timing on things like that, like when he's, uh, you know, bribing Dipper with the tape. He's got a recording of him saying, like, I promised. And he's, like, shifting out of frame and popping back in and, yeah. I think uh, I think what it is is um, you know him learning that don't overthink it. You don't have to map everything out. Just learn to be yourself and be in the moment with them and just converse. Mm. Have some fun. Yeah. Wrong. Charisma on command. Watch that YouTube channel, people. <laughs> It'll show you how to land the girl. That's right. Mm -hmm. All the mathematical choices you should make to guarantee that women will just hop right into your lap. Yeah, especially if you're young. If you're a teenager, happens to be watching Definitely. this video. Oh Charisma God. on command. Yeah. What's the book to get the pickup artist book? Oh, oh yeah, the. Uh... <laughs> the art of the deal. The art of the deal. <laughs> how to win friends and influence. How people. to win friends. Uh, it's. Uh... What is that pickup artist? That is a, yeah, I used to know the name of it. Yeah, I never read it. Should have read it. used to know the name for countless punchlines. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the art of the... Or am I just thinking of the pickup artist? It's not like the art of the pickup or some, like, riff like that. Pick I up, don't remember. Pickupology. The art of the game or something. Some oh, that might thing. be it, yeah. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, this was a... Uh, Seriously, delightful episode, and Absolutely. um, I, like they, they, they just keeps getting better. Yeah, I really it was the last one, the convenience store one, or the two episodes ago. The convenience store one, two I really liked a lot. Ago. Yeah, I, li I like that one a lot. Yeah, the convenience store something as simple really as this, and like the way they they bring the wonder, and like, oh, the that's what I like with the concept of like, oh, there's benefits to this. Yeah. You know, there's, yeah. there's joy to this, and then oh, here's how it could really go wrong. I didn't yeah. like the realization of like the paper one. I like that for some reason, that was like so disturbing to me. Yeah, just, like this like fucked up copy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's perfect because it's also like yeah, just like one of the things that is bound to happen with an actual photocopier yeah. or printer. And and yeah, it's like it goes to the place where you ultimately expect any I cloned myself mm. a bunch of times thing to go, which is yeah, they're all gonna fight, and there might be some confusion as to who's who. But yeah, I love that it takes a while to get there, and they're all pretty much on the same page up until a certain point and it's not even so much about them all getting greedy it's about the plan and then when it all falls apart then they start getting greedy yeah that's true um but yeah even just establishing the whole thing where they disintegrate like right off the bat like i thought it was interesting that they chose to do that up front even because uh 
I feel like certain other things might have, you know, made that like the big reveal of like, oh, here's the salvation, but it's always there. So like, I need a, rules. That's right. That's right. Guys, what did you think about this episode? Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, subscribe, click that bell, hit that like button, and last but not least, let's do a pick. Anissa Oliva, Anissa, my dear, if there's anyone at our Patreon page who could use a clone, it would be you because you have so much going on in your life. You got this big family at home that you have to tend to. Then you have this crazy job where you're always at risk of catching the VidCon. So it would be great, you know, like, cause we love that you love to help people and you even want to visit here. If you could photocopy yourself to be Anissa at home, multiple Anissas at work yeah. to help save more lives. And then an Anissa that comes to California to meet John at the LAX gas station. My God, it would be perfect. And then we could get another clone of you, take you to Eric Horseman in Atlanta, and then also go see Bradley Blisso. And then you could also clone yourself to go on a date with that Republican guy that you brought up a year ago. So, Anissa, just the more of you, the better Absolutely. life would be. There's no denying that. Ever. Get that Republican guy, get, get a, if you could make a copy of yourself <laughs> and then affect its political beliefs, that would be very impressive. <laughs>